Round two. There's a real Perry was here this morning. He fixed up that spindle. He said it should be fine. I'm going to grab an impact and get these lug nuts out and then hopefully the hub will just pop out. And one of the worst parts about starting to work at new places so frequently is never knowing where the stuff is in the shop. Like most of the time people have stuff organized so that it's all similar. Um, but it's still, you know, a matter of where people put things, you know, all the things are gonna be grouped in the same way is what I found, but it's a matter of where they are. I could just be dumb. Not dumb, just inexperienced. <laughs> I was wrong. Uh, hindsight says should have grabbed a bucket for that to fall on, but um, yeah, yikes. So Perry is working on getting that hub out so we can change the bearings and then I'm going to babysit the water tanks for the spray trailer and then when those tanks are full we're going to bring the spray trailer out to Joel and then um, put that tire back on and then I'll be turbo tilling. We don't need two sprayers going quite yet I don't think. I don't know when we will again, because Joel this stays pretty far ahead like of everybody. Well, far enough, I think. You can't always just put her down and let her rip. Because sometimes you have the this worst kind part of a about situation. This was that it was hard and crusty on the top, and then it was so, so gooey we're gonna have inside. Some fun. So after you like got that top crusted layer out, 
which was hard with a pry bar and then you got into that gooey stuff it just stuck to the pry bar so i was sitting there for a good amount of time trying to get that all uncrusted just so the rollers would work properly because when they're crusted up like that they really do not work to the extent that they need to okay one done one more to go okay i think that took me an hour and that is a big pile of mud. It's like stuff. Well, let's find some. Oh, yeah. This will stick to you more than my dog sticks to me. Ugh. Hi, Dukers. <laughs> it's just nasty. So right now, I'm not in the field that I was turbo tilling when the wheel fell off. We're just breaking up this bag site because it's really compact. There's some tire marks up here that we need to rip up before the cedars come through. Because um, that is not a good seed bed. So... Ripping it up. I need to fix something back there because there's a line right in the middle. And <laughs> this one. So we're gonna drop our implement. I always forget. They have it a little backwards in here. Oh, yucky. Look at that. Turn it into dust. Not dust. We're just gonna make it smooth. Oh, yeah. Look at how nice that is. Now that I've run for a little bit, I got out, checked some stuff. It's leaving like this weird line on the side. Um, but everything's moving right. So, I don't know what it is. <gasps> That's the wrong size. Uh, that's fine. Craig's coming out with the service truck anyways because one of the baskets, here I'll show you. My dog is eating things off the ground that's probably going to make him throw up. But this basket is hanging way lower and I think it's because of that bolt right there. If you look at it close enough, it does not look bueno. Okay, all done doing bag sites for the most part. Now we are headed down to the shop again. Um, there's a bolt that's, I think is broken. I sent a picture of it to Craig. He thinks it's broken. I'm gonna go back to the shop, make sure it's not broken and get my AirPods because this tractor doesn't have a radio. And then we're gonna top off my fuel and then get the uh, big field whip that we've been needing to get done. I'm headed back out to the field again. It is around one o'clock in the afternoon and Matt just got on the radio. He watched me drive by. He was like, Pam, I bet you that you can't break that turbo tiller again today. And I was like, what are we betting? <laughs> so, so if I don't break the turbo tiller again, I owe Matt a beer. He's looking for the, uh... <laughs> Hold on, it's, our, it's gonna be around the court. It's coming up right here. He's gonna start barking. Oh, do you see it? What's that? Oh, Dukers, where is it? It's right there. Oh, wrong way. And here's a little clip of me thinking that I can pick up this ginormous rock in the middle of the field. I had a turbo till around it, spoiler alert, but I could not move it. Look, I got so confident. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it. And then it was just way too heavy. And then right here, I was like, nuh uh, <laughs> not gonna happen. So I, I left the rock, the rock. I don't know if the rock is still there or not because I left the next day. So someone else finished turbo tilling this field. So hopefully they got that rock taken out of the field. All right, done with the turbo tiller for the day. I have to go home and pack now because I'm going to California in the morning for a special little trip that uh, was has been planned for a little bit now. Um, so I'll take you guys along with me for that as well. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the adventures. 
my next video adventure. I'm going to be down in California on a strawberry farm and you're not going to want to miss that. It was a super cool experience and I'm so excited to share. So, as always, catch you next time. Hasta la pasta. <laughs>